Yo, 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 this is Chris Blair. I just finished at the gym. I haven't even had a shower yet. I, I need to go take a shower, but I promised a 9.30 uh, a.m. Japan time. It's 9.30 a.m. Japan time right now. It's uh, 8.30 Eastern time. Live stream, so I'm going ahead with that. Um, so in this live stream, I want to talk about something that, that out of the side of the box technique for scaling, for targeting. Um, these methods have helped myself and my students drive huge numbers of sales. I mean, with these methods, I've had a few products sell over 20,000 units. I've had several, I mean, no small number. I mean, see, I mean, definitely like 30, 40 products sell thousands of units over the years using these exact methods, okay? So the thing about scaling is that people think and they, they limit themselves to a certain uh, way of targeting, right? And and this actually hurts them from their ability to build their business, to, to really scale it, okay? Now, it's true, they can scale in the traditional ways to a certain point, but your immediate natural niche market is limited, okay? So it's limited, right? No matter, even if you're in the biggest niche in the world, which is my niche, for example, I'm in the beer niche, or you're in a big niche, for example, I don't know, like... Um, the bodybuilding niche, for example, right? You're still limited at some point of how far you can scale a product if you just stick with the standard bodybuilding people, the standard beer people, right? So you got to start to think to yourself, how can I go beyond that market, right? How can I expand beyond that to make this product evergreen? Now, when I say make this product evergreen now, okay, so what I'm talking about here, guys, is a method that I'm going to teach you right now here in a second, which you can expand winning products and make them long-term and evergreen and sell huge numbers. For example, I've done, I've had two products go over 20,000 units, and I've had several products sell thousands of units, less than 20,000. But anyway, I mean, still, it's huge numbers, right? And, how, and this, is, this is one of the key techniques for this method, for this that kind of level of scaling, right? So I'm going to talk about that here in a second. And... The reason being is because no matter how big your market, even if you're in a massive market like mine, beer niche or bodybuilding niche or whatever, you still at some point will run out of people to target in your niche, right? You you can only hit them sometimes with your product. At some point, you got to spam beyond that. And I'm going to tell you how to do that. And I want to say two things. For, one thing. One, if you get value out of this video, please share it, right? Um, you know, I love it when people share my videos. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel and say, hey, look, they're getting value of this. If you're interested in my private coaching or my, tr my, my beta course, private message me. In the meantime, let's jump into this. Let's jump into this technique, okay? This is what I call unnatural targeting or out-of-the-box targeting, okay? So there's different levels of this. So let's assume I got a winning product, right? It's selling, right? This doesn't work, by the way, if you for a testing or, or a product that's not selling. Don't try this on a product that's not already proven with your natural targets, your direct natural targets unit. For example, if you're in the bodybuilding niche, bodybuilding.com. If you're in the beer niche, Budweiser. It's not selling with those type of targets. It will never work with the unnatural out-of-the-box targeting. But assuming that you got a winning product that's been selling and you're now to the level, okay, look, how can I expand this? Out-of-the-box unnatural targeting is a beautifully and incredibly powerful technique. And What's powerful about this is two things. Number one is you get to expand beyond your market. I mean, this really makes your market infinite, right? I've got a cap right now that I've been selling now for 18 months. And why? Because of this method, okay? Now, the second thing is this. You also separate yourself from the the, the masses, right? Your other, I mean, the masses and other people in your niche, right? So, for example, everyone is just going after the natural targets, right? But if I take my winning product, right, and I start to nat go after unnatural targets, for example, let's, let me give you, I'm going to give you a real example in my niche, right? And I'm going to give this, my competitors watch this video, you get this as a gift for free, okay? There's other ones out there I'm using, so I'm, I'm, I'm not so concerned about it. But fishing, right? Fishing has been a massive winner for me. In the beer niche okay why because fishing people a lot of fishing people like beer related stuff but that's the, not just that it's just that my competition is not doing that they're not out there targeting unnatural targets so if i take my winning product it's already proven to convert and i bring it over to the fishing niche right as an example right 
and I start to target all the different fishing related targets, right? Then, guess what happens? To them, seeing a fishing related product in their newsfeed on an ad or whatever, right, is not something they're used to or accustomed to, right? It doesn't happen to them every day. Whereas the beer people are used to seeing beer stuff all the time. The fishing people are not used to seeing beer stuff all the time. And your product stands out because it's already a proven winner, right? It's not like it's a test product, well, maybe it'll sell well. This is already proven. So what happens from there is, okay, so first of all, so I will start testing out different fish related. So I, the first step is just to use my, my own imagination, brainstorm. Okay, so, all right, okay, I, I'm, I can guess that fishing will be a potential product. Let me, let me give a different um, niche that might be, let's jump on, someone type down any niche, it doesn't matter, any niche, give me a niche idea. Okay, let's just say that you're in the... Um, let me think of a niche here, something that's a little unusual. Let's just say that you're in the uh, car race, car, you know, motor car, you know, car racing niche. People who like NASCAR and things like that, right? Well, it's not such a stretch to think that people who are in the gym beam and alcohol would also like NASCAR, right? It's not a stretch outside of the box idea, right? Because a lot of people who are into that sort of blue collar, motocross, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, NASCAR motor racing niche are also into drinking alcohol, okay? There's other things you can think about. What else do these people like to do? A lot of these people like to maybe, if you're targeting NASCAR, they like to go, a lot of people are, you know, in the Midwest or South United States and they, they will go after and they will like camping and guns, right? So you see where I'm going with this, right? By straight, just using the first step, number one, is just to use your imagination, okay? And that's the hardest part because, because coming up with the first ideas can be difficult, right? But then you start testing out different targets in those unnatural niches, right? And what happens, sorry, it's unnatural targets, right? And what happens is you find some winners, okay? Then after you find some winners, some winning targets, you go back in the audience insights, you plug in that winning target, and you see what else Facebook suggests. So then what happens is, is just, you know, let's just say you test out 10 different targets in an unnatural niche, right? And you find one that works. Well, now go in and find other ones, other targets related to that niche. And just to, to that target, and just keep going and going and going. And you could do this over and over and over and over and over again, right? So let's just say I test out 10, you know, I'm in the NASCAR niche and I test out 10 hunting related targets and I find a hunting related target that works. I go in that insight and I start testing out all those and then so on and so forth and so on and so forth. So it just compounds on top of it, right? And then I take, I think of other unrelated stuff that might, might connect. And again, once I test out, say 10, I don't know, we'll just make up underwater basket weaving, right? So I, I go, nothing, nothing like that exists, but you get, you're getting my, I'm trying to make a point here. So let's just say I, I test out 10 underwater basket weavings. I believe that people who are in the underwater basket weaving like NASCAR, right? And I find a couple under, underwater basket weaving targets that actually work. Well, then I go back in the audience insights and I plug it into there. Guys, this may sound so simple, but this is actually the key. This is the, 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 the door that, that opens up to a huge amount of potential targets on Facebook and makes your market basically infinite to this day i'm still selling two products on my beer store three products on my beer store and i've been selling them for 18 months and there's no stop because they're still selling like like clockwork why because i understand the idea of expanding out the unnatural targets it makes my market infinite all right that's what I wanted to cover today on how you can make your market infinite, all right? Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and write down the questions in the chat box. You know, Andy, I know you're in my course, but it would be great if you could write down your impressions on my beta course. Chris, you're also in my course. It would be awesome if you could write down your impressions on my beta course. That would be awesome. If you're interested in my beta course, guys, we're launching in October. This time it's for real. And the reason why it's for real is because I realized I couldn't do it all myself, and I actually partnered up with a JV manager, right, who's doing all that, you know, preparation for me because I just can't do it myself and, and, and keep my, do my training and coaching and build my, keep my business going. So I just said, you know what, to get this thing to a launch, I need someone's help. So I, I partnered with someone and we're, 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 you know, 
It's that's the way it's a partnership, right? So it's awesome, right? So he's he's getting that. So we are we are definitely looking at a hard October launch. It's happening. I mean, we're working on the sales page right now, so we're launching. The, so your door to get in for the beta price is closing soon. Okay, it's definitely closing soon. So if you want in for the beta price, that's great. Chris and Andy, I'd appreciate if you guys would write, you know, your thoughts on the course. That would be freaking awesome. Right, that'd be awesome if you write your impressions on my course so people can get feedback. Um, if you have to share this video, if you're watching this video and you're getting value from this, that'd be awesome if, you sh if you'd uh, share it. In the meantime, I've got a, a few minutes, so I can go ahead and field some questions. If you have any questions. Bengals. Beagles. I don't know a lot about beagles, my friend. All right. So let me go ahead and I'll talk again about what we just talked about. So I'm, I'm going to do a quick recap here. So there's a way to take your products and make them, your market for them infinite. Okay. I know that sounds unbelievable, but there is. And that is once you've established that your product is a winner, in your natural targets, right? For example, let's just say you're in the photography niche. You want to talk about photographers of America. Um, you want to talk about, I love photography. These are the natural niche. But once you establish that, right, you want to start to think outside the box. And this is the hardest part. And this is called, this is a brainstorming exercise, but you want to start to think, okay, what potential targets also have people in them that would like photography, okay? What potential targets would also have people in would like photography? I mean, I can, I can think of one off the top of my head, right? Um, hikers, right? Hikers go out into nature, right? They go in the mountains, right? They bring their cameras. There is a good number of hikers that love photography. They're photographers, right? They're hobby photographers, right? So guess what I would do once I have my winning product? Once I have a winner, this doesn't work for testing, right? but, but once I have a winner, is I would start to target hiking with my winning photography product. Now what this does is, is it does two things. One, it expands my market. Number two, it's unique. How many people who are in the photography niche are out there running ads targeting hiking? I bet you can count them on less than one hand, all right? So your product to the hikers is unique. They don't see that every day. It's a pattern interrupt. It, it, it catches them by surprise, and you stand out. So you've got your winning product, and you're targeting an unnatural target that's still potentially good. And then once you've tested out a few targets in that related target group, right, and you find some winners, take that, for example, let's just say, I don't know, you're hiking, you target, you target uh, famous hiking sites like Hiking Mountains, Mount Everest, and, and hiking equipment companies, and some other things related to hiking. And then you, got, you find one and say, I don't know, XYZ Hiking Equipment Company is a winner, right? Well, then I would take XYZ Hiking Company, and I would go to plug in the audience insights, and I would start to look for things that, X, things that people who like XYZ Hiking also like. What else do they like? So what happens is, guys, if you, if you brainstorm and you find a few unnatural targets and you find some that work then you expand off that you have basically created an infinite market for your products which is why I've been able to take three products and run them now for the eight, past 18 months on Facebook ads that's almost unheard of I've also had two products since I started Facebook ads in 2000 so this have business in late 2012 that have sold over 20,000 units guys okay that again is massive numbers because I think outside the box, and I keep expanding my targeting, expanding my targeting. Um, see, Andy Powell says on my course, very detailed training. Anyone that's on the fence, jump in. A, a ton of value and worth every penny. A guy named Jeremy the other day, who's been in this business for like uh, two and a half years, said, you know, I didn't know what I didn't know about my course. Okay. Great course. Anyone's on board? Get left behind. Anyone who's not on board gets left behind. That's what Chris says. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, guys. I appreciate if you share my video. And if you're interested in my private coaching or my training course, my beta training course, you want to get in before the deadline, private message me. And 
I guess I, I got a few more minutes. I can open up if there's any questions. I literally got to go here shortly, but I'm open to any questions. Let's see here. Hello, Wanda. Thanks, Andy, for the testimony. Chris, for the testimony. That's awesome. If I don't see any questions here, that would be, I'm going to cut this video here in a second because I got to run. I got a meeting here in a few seconds. When does the Christmas story begins? Um, my experience is, depends on the niche, but my experience is the second week in October is when things really start to pick up. Uh, so we're get, we're there. Um, right now, I would be testing out a lot of new products aggressively, because now is the time to f try to find some new winners. I'm going to be testing out some new products myself. I'm, I'm actually got a whole slate of products that are right now being prepared, and over when they're all done, I'm going to bang them out on my. I mean, I'm going to really bang out some test products because I got my I got some evergreen winners, but I want to find some new ones. So. I'm going to be really, really over the next, uh, once I, I mean, I've got like 10 to 15 products in, in the queue to get be made by my designer right now. So once those are up, I'm going to bang those out and then I'm going to get another 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to literally plan over the next two weeks to week to two weeks to test out 30 or 40 different products um, in, on my store because now is the time to try to find those new winners because yes, the second week of um, October is coming. Okay, let me get some water here. I'm lazy. I never use a glass. I buy these big water bottles and just drink straight from those. I go through one of these that day. Uh, 2,000 milliliters of water. I go through one of these every single day. I'm quite healthy. All right. So now, um, what was I going to say? I, will, I also want to say, look, don't get discouraged. If you are in the second week of October or third week of October and you don't have a winner yet, and you're new or whatever, you don't have any winning products or something, but don't get discouraged, okay? Because guys, if you find that winning product in early November or mid-November or even late November, right? You can sell up to about, depending on your shipping schedule, you got to find out who you're, you got to talk that to your supplier and find out, but you can sell up to about the first week, to second week of December, depending on who your supplier is. And guys, you can seriously crush it at that time because... That, I mean, the end of November, early December, I mean, there's so much money being spent on Christmas presents. It's insane. You could literally go from not making any cash to making a huge amount of cash in a very short period of time. So even if you find that winner with one week left in November, go for it. Because that two-week period, you could kill it. Um, uh, Chris is asking if I have any coffee. No, I've already had coffee. Um, Hamza says, I have a friend who took Chris Blair's private coaching and he can't stop talking about how valuable it is. Thank you. Guys, you know what? I, I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm the best coach out there, period. I just, I'm absolutely sure of it. I have success after success, success story after success story. For some reason, I'm good at it. It's just something I, this is one reason why I do it because I just love it. Um, yeah, of course, I got to charge a fee for it because guys, I need you committed. Right? And I also put a lot of time and effort and my time is valuable. So, of course, I charge it. But, man, I love it. And I, 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 once, once you're into my coaching, I want to help you. Right? I'm there for you. Okay? So, if you want my private coaching, private mentoring, or join my beta course, either one. The beta course is really good. I put my heart and soul into that thing. There's 60 videos, guys. 60 webinars, videos combined. I, I don't think there's a more detailed course out there. I basically lay out everything. Um, and I've actually got a couple, I've actually realized that there's a couple things that I've missed. So I'm actually going to be making more videos, guys. I got, I didn't announce this in the group, but I decided this morning, there's actually three or four more videos I'm going to make. So there's actually more coming, guys. Woohoo! Who in my group's excited? I actually realized that I, I didn't cover it all in 60, 15 webinars and 45 videos. I didn't actually cover it all. There's a few more things. But anyway, but... Anyway, and also, guys, one thing I'm going to also say in my Evergreen group is I realize the market is changing all the time. So, and I want this this course I'm coming out to be Evergreen. So I'm going to be doing weekly 
not weekly, but once or twice a month, I'm going to be doing ongoing training and webinars for the group, right? So even after the launch, I will, it's going to keep going, right? I want to make my, I mean, I put so much effort into creating this course over the past six months. I mean, guys, it's a huge number of content. It took me, it's taken me six months to do it, right? I mean, because I got a business and I got a life and I've got private coaching students. And, and so, yeah, it took me six months to do all that content. But now that I got it, I want to make this a long-term evergreen course. So the only way I can do that is if I update it. So I'm going to be updating the content. If something goes out of date, I'm going to replace that video out. Um, I'm going to do an ongoing education. And, of course, one thing I want to say about the Facebook group is this. Um, I think I've answered every single question that's coming in that group. Maybe there's one or two that I missed here and there. And I may miss some because life gets in the way. But my goal with this group, and, and, and one thing why actually the price is not so cheap, is because I want to make sure that I can help out everyone with their questions, right? And and in the past, you know, I've done cheaper, lower products, and I've created Facebook groups, and you get a huge number of people out in there, and they're asking tons of questions, and it's just no way I can keep up. So what I've done is I've raised the, raised the price a little bit high. I mean, the, the, the beta price is not cheap. It's still, um, the real course is 2,500, guys, 2,500. In fact, my friend is telling me, my JV partner is saying we should do it for 3,000. He says it's such a massive course to sell for three thousand. So it will be that. No, it'll be well over two thousand dollars when we launch it. But you get it for le- you get it for less than half that right now. But it's still not cheap. Okay, so you're probably guessing in roughly about the price. You can guess roughly about the price. But I want to talk to you before I give you the actual price. So private message me. But here's the deal, guys. The reason I've done that is is I want to be able to answer the questions. And if I get a mass amount of people in there, I can't. It just becomes impossible. But by keeping the, the turtle high to get in, I'm keeping the group at a, a reasonable number, right? Right now it's 130 some, and even after the launch, I mean, we'll be lucky if we get to 500, right? And that's, that's perfect. In fact, that's exactly what I want. I want a small group of 500 or less that I can actually help. And so over long term, we'll be adding new people and new people and new people that will be selling this evergreen. But the point is, is the, the, the people who got in there originally, right, they will have gone through the course and gone through the training and will have answered the questions and the new people, I can help them. But, you know, by, by, by keeping the hurdle high, a little bit high to get in, I'm, I'm, I'm not overwhelming myself and I can actually assist everyone. I've actually answered and I, I'm, I've gone through the group just to be sure several times. I think I've answered every single question that's come in there. And I think that is actually worth equal, if not more value than the actual 60 videos in the course because you're actually getting my guidance with the specific questions, okay? Anyway, guys, please share this video and private message me to make sure I didn't miss any questions. Do I do any AliExpress anymore? No, I don't. Um, the reason why is I just, for as a real business, it's not a good platform to serve from, but to fill from. But for making money, it can be really good. If you're if you're hurting for the cash and you need to make some quick sales, then uh, dropshipping stuff in Alley can work. Um, it's not a real long term good solution. Which POD platform am I using? I'm recommending Custom Cat. They're a good platform. I'm not leaving you guys. All right. I think that is it. I got a, I got it's almost 10 a.m. Japan time, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern. I've got a uh, uh, call at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. So I've got to go. All right. Private message me and uh, please share this video.